1977, Donald Monroe opened his first nightclub. Six years later, Monroe decided to redesign his club. What was once called the Brass Rail transformed into the timeless dance club named after Monroe's childhood nickname, Opie's. In 1980, uh, I changed it to Brass Rail, which is country. Country was big then, you know, when Urban Cowboy come out. Then in 83, it kind of, you know, country kind of, so I, that's when I changed it to Opie's and that way we play all kinds of music. The guy that owned the pool hall, I still remember his name, Al Talent, said, you look like Opie on Andy Griffith show. I, I joined three other guys, and uh, when a buddy step, we all ended up in Vietnam together, but of course they all called me Opie, and the next thing you know, it, I got back, and I said, Opie is a pretty good nickname. Back in 1983, Opie decided to add a second room to his club, the oldies room. I have went through more competition over the 40 years you can believe. I've seen them come and go. But I thought, well, this might be. So I thought, I need to do something. And besides that, to keep my sanity, I opened the other side. It took about a year to get stuff from all over the United States. And that way, I played 50s, 60s, and 70s on that side. Opie always stands at the door. Always stands at the door, just like clockwork. About 10 o'clock at night, He'll be out there shaking your hands, greeting you, and everything else. How you doing? And you don't find a lot of club owners that do that. You don't find that. Last year, Monroe strongly considered selling his nightclub, but ultimately decided it wasn't the right move. My customers and my employees are my life. The 70s and 80s were good to me. I mean, I mean, it really was. I mean. You have or have nothing on me, you know what I mean? Forty years later, Donald Monroe remains as dedicated as ever to providing the people of Norman with a fun and groovy experience at Opie's nightclub. Blake Hardman, OU Nightly.